Hey folks, if you haven't heard about Anchor, let me tell you, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. First of all, it's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcasts right from your phone or computer. I'm recording these intros on my phone, it's wild. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you on all the mediums. It can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Those are the only two I know, but there's those and many more. And you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. So what you need to do is go download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Do it! So what did you do this weekend, you stupid bitch? What, what I do every weekend during quarantine is probably hang out with my girlfriend. Real? Get railed? No, not, not yet. yet. I think I'm did actually going to do it the day before, just because I don't want to like be inundated with people texting me when I'm actually doing I think I want to secretly do it and then like <laughs> pretend like, because I don't know. Well, I mean, then you'll, that'll give you time to I edit be able the to video and enjoy it without, uh, yeah, just trying to do it now. Like, I don't know, probably only like three people are going to text <laughs> me, but still, I just, yeah, I'm not even going to ask. I'll just wait for the fine. podcast. <laughs> I do want to do a whole, uh, like, uh, well, your, your girlfriend's going to be the one doing the whole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically <laughs> but i wanted to do like a whole um <laughs> cinematic like credit intro like starring <laughs> jeremy johnston carrie klaus and introducing mr burrows or whatever the fuck we call the pegging thing <laughs> I thought mr. That would be fun. Burrows. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <laughs> i just gotta find the right theme music <laughs> Dana, Dana, <laughs> just the Jaws theme. <laughs> Dana, na, 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 na. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger butt. Cause it really. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clip. <laughs> 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 We're back. Hell yeah. That, that rules. <laughs> I'm going to need a bigger butt. <laughs> you want to see it? We ordered it on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Share that screen, dude. Let me see. Can we post a picture of it on the Insta? So that's what we bought. <laughs> So that we can start low and go gayer if we need to. Fifty bucks. Well, we got it. We got twenty five percent off, so it was like thirty five or something. So I guess it really was Adam and Eve. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. See, I think uh, this one's like you know that's not going to be too bad. That's pretty small. Yeah, I think she underestimates uh, how much my ass can take a pounding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you've had things going in, coming out. Your ass has been through a lot. But the good news is, uh, you know, you can always fit a different dildo on the strap on. So that's just the starter kit, I guess, or what it comes with. I don't fucking know. I don't know how often we're going to really be doing this, but I'm just trying yeah. to fulfill my lady's dreams. Because every girl dreams about the first day she gets to peg a man. <laughs> Yeah, dude, women, uh, break that glass asshole. <laughs> <laughs> those are the scariest ones to me, like the glass dildos. I don't get those. I'm like, I don't want anything yeah, glass going in. It, yeah, it's a little nerve wracking. But I mean, at the same time, really, I mean, how are you going to break it in your ass? I don't know. I just, I don't know if I could relax with the glass being shoved up my asshole. 
Only way to find out is to try. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I hung out with our terrible friends also Saturday. That. Which ones? Why do we have like the worst friends? Why do my friends with people? We Which went, friends? Uh, Alex and Josh, we went and got coffee. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was just going to get coffee and then... Josh was like, I really want to try that place. I've never been there. And then Alex was like, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing except, I guess, getting coffee. And then he's like, I'll be there, too. And I was like, okay, now it's a thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so how and, was that? Oof. Just like the weirdest people I got. Alex brings like five bags. He looks like he's fucking going to like stay there for a week. Plus the one on his fucking yeah. stomach. <laughs> no, yeah. So that's like six. And he's like, oh, this, he had like this giant duffel bag. He's like, oh, this is just markers. And I was like, markers. He's like, yeah, I'm going to draw a picture while we're here. I was like, okay. And he opens up this thing. He's got like 200 markers in it. And he's literally drawing something that's just yellow. So he uses like two markers for the whole thing. I was like, why didn't you just, you had the image saved on your phone. You knew you were going to draw. Why didn't you just bring the two markers you were going to use? What the fuck? (laughs) He's like, well, it's all organized. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And he's got like his backpack. He's got a laptop that he never used. I was like, why do you have all this shit? I was like, why don't you put your laptop in your backpack or like minimize all these bags you're carrying? It's just. (laughs) And And what? Then Josh just like goes and gets packets of sugar and then just starts eating packets of sugar. And I was like, why am I at like the table? I guess I can't say that word. (laughs) That's what I felt like. I was like, I feel like I'm taking care of special needs people or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like both ends of the autism spectrum because Alex is all creative and they have all the markers have to be in this order. It's all organized and whatever. Yeah. And then Josh is like, sugar packets. <laughs> 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 I felt so bad for Carrie because she was just sitting there on her phone like not not engaging like, oh, she does not want to no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i imagined uh, well, she was, wouldn't want to be there it was just all us fighting the whole time like arguing with each other yeah because josh is just like mean to alex and <laughs> alex is dumb so it's just uh not a good it's not a good situation man <laughs> yeah so that's probably why we don't all hang out ever again <laughs> Well, yeah, dude. I mean, even in the fucking message group, it's just me, you, Dave, and Alex. I mean, Cal really doesn't even check it anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not. I'm checking it when I get on my computer, I guess. But yeah, nobody. Uh, we're not. Yeah, the friend group is gone. Well, what the hell's Will doing? I don't know. I saw he got fucked over by that go puff or whatever the hell. He was yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with him. It's not, uh, I think he's working on a script or yeah, something. Yeah, that's what I heard months ago, though. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, outside of that, I don't know if he's really doing much of anything. Well, he, he started tweeting some more. Yeah, which I saw was that. good. Uh, and they were, there was some funny stuff in there. I just wondered because he was like kind of like losing weight and like getting somewhat healthy before everything. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I haven't seen. I mean, we haven't seen each other, so it's uh, it's hard to tell if he is still a big old fat fuck or uh, <laughs> he's. Uh, but he was doing really good, so I don't know. I, I mean, who yeah, knows? that sucks. Fucking everything sucks. Yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> yep, <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> Now, uh, Ruth my Bader Ginsburg's right. dead, and everybody's like, oh, oh. what are they like? Oh. <laughs> That's the, <laughs> yo, I got to break it to two women on Friday. Yeah. Because I go, hey, guys, I have bad news. And it was uh, Kelly and her friend, Kelly Collette and her friend. <laughs> oh, God. So I walk out, I go, hey, I got, I got bad news, but I don't want to bum you guys out. And they go, no, tell us the bad news. And I was like, Ruth Bader Ginsburg's dead. And they were like, why would you tell us that? I was like, I told you it was going to be a bummer. I had, I got to break it to Carrie, too, because she was taking a shower when it happened. And I came in and yeah, told her. I, t- 
I texted Stacy, but Stacy hates women, so she was happy about it. <laughs> well, she was like, she was like, well, you better, uh, you know, enjoy the sex now before all my rights get taken away. And I was like, I'm not really worried about like abortion becoming illegal because like you could still just like leave your kid in a hot car and say you forgot and you're fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool, Jeremy. That's. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, we could, like, hey, don't oh, worry, babe. Accident. Don't worry, babe. We're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna get you pregnant. And we're gonna murder it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just hey, saying. Don't it's... worry, baby. I got a, I got a car and uh, no AC. We'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. It's crazy to me that you can just do that. And they're like, "Well, it was an accident. They forgot." And then they're just like, "All yeah. right, you're cool." Yeah, but you could still get like a wrongful death. You could, but. We're privileged. We got privilege. That's what I'm <laughs> or told. Or you could just keep it. Yeah, but I don't know. If I if I got Stacey pregnant right now, we would just keep it. It's not even really a question. Well, yeah, but you guys are going to get married and whatever. So you're probably going to marry Carrie. Maybe. Marry Carrie, dude. It's like a shittier <laughs> version of Harry your, uh, Carrie. Harry Carrie. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> If the moon was made of cheese, would you eat it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not cheese. It's spare ribs. If the moon was made of spare ribs, would you eat it? <laughs> I know I would. Or a wash, it down, I wash it down with a cold Budweiser. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite SNL sketches of all time. I know because you've referenced it like five times on this podcast. <laughs> that, that, and then fucking uh, the Dan, Dan Rather. Uh, Dan Stories. Rather and then uh, Robert Goulet. Uh, doing... I gotta go back and watch that. He says the N word apparently. Yeah, dude. And I know another <laughs> couldn't. He was like <laughs> scranny screams it. It's not even like he says it. He screams it. <laughs> Hard R everything. How do you feel about white people saying it uh, when they're like doing a karaoke or something? Oh, karaoke, no, but in that Robert Goulet character, it felt like that's something Robert Goulet would do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it didn't feel like it never felt weird. It never felt edgy. It never felt gross. Like, it's uh, it's how I felt when Louie was saying it in his act, it never felt gross. Yeah. It never felt like it came from a bad place. Like, it felt like it was part of the... Ca- it, like, I don't know, like, when... In Tarantino movies, it doesn't feel weird. It kind of feels... <clears throat> not weird, but... I mean, it does in, like, Django. <laughs> but, like... Uh, no, it feels weird to me when he wrote, like, Pulp Fiction and then played the character that says it. <laughs> I'm like, well... <laughs> yeah, but it's also... That also feels like a... I that get that feels it's like a character, a, but it's like... Right. But that also feels like a... Um, I'm not gonna make anybody else do it. You know what I mean? Possibly, but I could say that with like, well, I'm going to play Jeremy Lambert so no one else has to say the N-word, but I'm going to do it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I guess. I don't know, man. It felt, it never, sometimes though, because the the thing is, people still say it. So there's certain characters that are going to say that word and it's not cool, but it's like to serve. That's why it's weird that other forms of art you can get away with saying things like my joke where I'm like talking about bigots and I'm saying how they're dumb. So just imagining one going like for Joe, but people are just like, you can't say that word. And I'm like, but there's people that say it. And I'm like making fun of them. Right. And it's bizarre. It's, it's a weird. Every well, other art you, form gets a pass, you, but comedy, but you are saying it and you are not a character, right? You, I mean, me. even though I you, mean, you, I use my name on stage, I guess, but it's it's an exaggerated right. form of yourself, I feel like. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird it's a weird line. Because stand up feels like Plus I'm punching so, down. I'm making fun of the idiot bigot, not the you know well, gay person. Yeah, well you're punching up because those people think they're better. <laughs> That's the well. That, that is. I mean, that's the whole bigotry. It's that's what bigotry is, right? Yeah. Well, then. So, how do you even do comedy if everything's just punching? Or no, that is punching up. You want to punch up, right? Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. yeah, it's never not mind. I got, I got it backwards. I got it backwards. I'm punching up. Yeah, you're punching up. 
punching down is what it's bad. Like. That's bad. I mean, because we do look down on them, but so yeah. technically, I mean, you probably feel that way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, you're punching up societally. Yeah. See, but, I'm not a bad guy. Punch up <laughs> only because I told you you're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. How do we get on the topic of the N word so quick? <laughs> I don't know. Did- <laughs> we did. That was like the first thing we talked about when we started this podcast. Yeah, that is very true. I yeah, listened back because I that. cut like a half hour for the Spotify and stuff anchor, and I was like, we immediately got to the N word in like two minutes in or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. But but it's also not. I, I don't know. Sometimes we have a like that was like a pretty nuanced conversation about the N word. Yeah. Uh, for how dumb we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've For never really said it. I didn't even know what it was until I have, have I said that on here before. The how I asked my no, how I asked my third grade teacher what an N word was, and she was like, "You've oh. told me this. You've told me this, but you didn't. I don't think you told it on here. So tell it." Well, because I was like eight, and these kids were joking about something. I guess it was like Winnie the Pooh related, and someone was like. Who replaced Tigger, the T and Tigger with an N. And I was like, uh, like, I was like, what is that? I've like never even heard that word before. And then they were like messing with me. Like Jeremy doesn't know what it means. I was like, no, like tell me. And they wouldn't tell me. So I was like, that's it. I'm asking the teacher. And they, <laughs> <laughs> they were like, no, no, don't do it. We'll tell you. It's a bad name for a black person. I was like, I don't believe you. You're full. Like you guys are fucking with me. And I went to my teacher and I just asked her and she was just like, oh, then she explained it to me and I was like, oh, okay. And that's how I learned. Also, were you dressed then, as a ghost? Why was she, and why, did she re- <laughs> why did she react like that? Maybe that's why <laughs> you were dressed as a ghost. <laughs> she, and then you said the N word and she was like, oh no, Jeremy's in the <laughs> clan. <laughs> went home, my mom's Whoa! like, what'd you, what'd you learn at school today? And then I had to go to private school. Uh, <laughs> Where you can definitely yeah. say the N word. Like, you're going to say that. We're going to make sure God's on your side. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, if you're going to say that, we're going to make sure there's no black people around. Yeah. There was like one black guy in my class at private school. That's just crazy to me. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's that's if you want to know the real reason why private school's a thing, so they can shove God down your throat and not and have you segregated essentially. <laughs> It's fucked up, but that that is truly, I feel like, what private school is to a lot of people. It they is. They fucking suck. And then I remember they brought some like weird speaker to talk to us about like teen pregnancy or something. And it was like a black lady, and she said, like, God damn, I'm like the one chocolate chip in this sugar cookie or something. And then everybody was like, she's racist. And I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Also, this is an all boys school. Why are we talking about it? <laughs> God. Teen pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah. So we hate our friends. I had something to bring up to you and I can't remember what it is now. Yeah. Sorry. We had something we were gonna talk about. How was your show? How was your weekend? It was good. I had that show Friday. It was good. I had a good set. And then Saturday I watched the UFC and worked. And then uh, yesterday I did nothing. Wow. Sorry uh, I asked. <laughs> no, the show Friday was good. Uh, Is there a good crowd? Or the crowd dwindling were- with the weather getting colder? No, there was like actually a lot, a decent amount of people there. It was cold though. I mean, it was that uh, great. Uh, James Carter gave me mushrooms. Yeah, I heard. Um, I only got and weed. He to- and he told me that my set, my new stuff was so good. And then he, and then I immediately gave those mushrooms to Lee because I was like, if I do this, I'm gonna fucking relapse. <laughs> oh, I thought you wanted to do mushrooms. Aren't they like good for I, depression? I, yeah, but I think it's not a good idea. Probably, I'm probably gonna end up fucking. Because every time I've done mushrooms, I've drank 
yeah. and smoked weed and uh, all that stuff. So I kind of feel like I probably shouldn't. I really want to try them, but I'm like uh, afraid of freaking out because like I did acid and I had like the best time, but I didn't really have as terrible anxiety back when I did that as I do now. So. Yeah. I mean, you got to be with somebody people you trust a lot nobody that really annoys you and uh it's fun but also dude i mean i've had bad trips and it sucks but you just have to ride it out it's well, really i mean it's not so bad someone at the club i think it was uh alicia but just talking about like how just doing mushrooms with someone, they just started like convulsing, and I was like, "Cool, I'll probably be the guy that would think about all the negative things that could happen and give myself an yeah, aneurysm I mean, you or gotta, something." <laughs> yeah, you got to put you got to put that fucking god damn it, uh, you got to put all that bad shit out of your head before you do it. Son of a bitch, sorry. Uh, you got to put all that bad shit out of your head before you do it because it's fucking it will fuck you up. Yeah, I think if I did them with Carrie, I'd be fine because she's like the one person that makes me feel safe. Is that gay? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it's like the opposite of gay. Yeah, I guess uh, until she's pegging me. <laughs> that's the only thing that makes me feel safe is having something <laughs> in my asshole. Um. I had some something I was thinking about. Uh, I don't know if this would be a better sketch or if it'd be a better <laughs> bit, but uh, like I love Batman, but like the one story they never really fucking told is like Bruce Wayne telling Alfred that he's gonna be a crime fighting bat. Yeah. Like they never like that's never. It's always like, oh, my parents died and now I'm the Batman, but they missed that like fucking that that weird first conversation of him telling alfred yeah. <laughs> he's like, alfred <laughs> alfred i'm gonna i'm gonna be a crime fighting vigilante he's like what <laughs> he's like yeah i need to build a system of caves underneath yeah. this mansion <laughs> and he's like i thought we were gonna expand my room like what do you mean <laughs> I like that. Just like Alfred uh, being like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <We're> gonna- <laughs> I'm a butler. I was going to fucking tell you something. Now I can't remember what it is. The original thing or another new thing? Another new thing. Let's joke about Batman some more. <laughs> I, I like, uh, uh, what do you think about Batman? What do you think his name should have been? Because I feel like, you know, everybody's made that joke, but I feel like the, like, you know, oh, if I were Batman, my name would be whatever I'm afraid of. Silly thing. Oh, yeah. But I feel like, but I feel like Batman isn't like, that's not his number one fear. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. It feels like a lie. (laughs) It feels like a lie. I mean... My parents got shot in front of me, man, is not a good name. That means uh, they should call clan members Blackman. <laughs> <And they're- laughs> I'm Blackman. <laughs> That's really funny. Fuck, man. Especially because they're wearing a fucking white sheet. Like, I'm black, man. I'm black, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking really funny. God damn it. I'm trying to... I was like, maybe I could riff something and then that could be the beginning of this Batman bit. <laughs> you just wrote a good joke. That sucks. Uh, that's funny, though. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm black man. (laughs) I am the knight. (laughs) Um, But yeah, it's a Batman, man. 
You ever think about how like Batman is just uh, kind of a piece of shit? Well, this is, we have this conversation because now there's like a movement online, I guess, or I don't know, on Reddit that someone was telling me about where it, now it's like we hate Batman because he's like a rich person. So he's clearly a piece of shit or whatever. Well, there's that. But like also he like if you think about all the people that he fights, it's like, they're like uh, huh? They're, well, like they're mentally, all mentally, <laughs> they're mentally unstable. But they're also like Poison Ivy's an environmentalist. Like yeah. <laughs> Edward is a, a, a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Freeze uh, wants to save his wife's life. <laughs> like there's he's fighting a bunch global of, warming. Yeah, right. There's so <laughs> many fucking like he's just fighting all the. He's just a, he is a Republican. He's just yeah. <laughs> Batman's a Republican, and uh, yeah, he's fighting all these fucking people. <laughs> Uh, and then like, you know, but then he also makes Catwoman get an abortion. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> now he keeps their relationship secret. Cause she's like multiracial or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause he can't, uh, cause what's next, you know, first gay marriage and a guy's <laughs> fucking a cat. <laughs> I used to have a Batman bit about that tramp stamp or whatever. Tramp stamp. Yeah. The, the girl that had the fucking Batman symbol as a tramp stamp. I don't remember that. You don't remember that. When did you do that? Uh, like, I mean, I've done it like I've done it probably like four or five times in four different iterations of it. I don't, yeah, I, I, maybe I if you saw said this, it, I would remember it. But I think I went on a date with a girl who had, uh, or maybe I just saw her on Tinder and said I went on a date with her. But she had a Batman tramp stamp. Uh, I said, I think I said something to the extent of like, which is a good way to let you know that her parents are dead. But, <laughs> 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 but there's that, and then I think. Uh, it does make sense that uh, the Batman tramp stamp because, uh, you know, the Batman symbol is used to let Batman know where to come. So it was just like, yeah. oh, it's right here. <laughs> I was going to say, which one's the Bat Cave? Because <laughs> it's over the asshole, but uh, I don't. Yeah, why would you? Yeah, why would you have the Bat symbol over the Bat Cave? You don't want to let it know. Yeah. Let everybody know where it is. <laughs> I had, apparently I wrote a joke about, I think I already told you. Oh yeah. You, you, we already talked about this. I think what the obituaries are just, uh, sad dating profiles, personals for God or something. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. They're like dating profiles (laughs) for God. (laughs) We didn't talk about it on the pod, but we talked about it on the phone. I think. Yeah, Yeah. 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 Four kids. (laughs) <laughs> grandkids superintendent hiking no hookups <laughs> <laughs> you guys think obituaries are just dating profiles for god <laughs> <laughs> in town for one night only no <laughs> uh, that would be jesus is probably in town for three nights only or something <laughs> man I don't know what to write about other than my giant cock. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. I was going to try to go back and look through old abandoned jokes and see if I can make them better now. Yeah, I was trying to find a way into this high cholesterol bit, but I just, I feel like the front of it's not that funny, but the rest of it's okay. I just cannot fucking. What is it? I think I told you this, but it's uh, how I went to the doctor and he was like, I think you might have high cholesterol. And I was like, oh yeah, what are the symptoms? And he was like, heart attack, stroke. I was like, those aren't fucking symptoms. Those are (laughs) outcomes. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be like, uh, I feel like if I was like, hey, what's a symptom of having sex? He'd be like, oh, you know, child support, AIDS. (laughs) (laughs) Those are usually the first signs. I like that. That's fun. But I do, uh, I do have high cholesterol despite being asymptomatic. 
Uh, I should have worn a mask. Uh, <laughs> to stop me from eating fucking food. That's literally what I have. Stop uh, my yeah. fat ass from eating. <laughs> I asked him what I can't eat anymore, and he listed everything I eat, just all of it. He said I can't have rolls anymore, egg, pizza, or dinner. Uh, or dinner. <laughs> uh, I can't eat anything served out of a window. Um <laughs> Apple pie, <laughs> none of it. Damn, you can't even uh, eat pizza, though, for real? I mean, I do. Because uh, I eat pizza, like, all the time. Maybe I should get my cholesterol checked. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, but I was like, so, the, the the thing I think is funny, though, is so I went to my doctor, and I was like, so I guess I gotta, like, start running and shit. And he was like, I don't know if your heart can handle running yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it just yeah. got, had to deal with a breakup over all this food <laughs> <laughs> he's like uh, and i'm like i don't know if you any of you have ever been so unhealthy uh, it's, uh, it's unsafe for you to be healthy but it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> it feels like i overdrafted my bank account but uh my bank won't take my money because i'm too poor <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to say that, but I do think that's funny. Like, I overdrafted my bank account, but they won't let me pay it off because I'm too poor or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's all I had so far. I like that. But it is, it's just fucking, I don't know. It's okay. It's all just okay. I like the idea that your heart's not ready for running. If you could come up with some like running examples that were funny, because. Well, I I asked him what else I could do, and he was like, have you tried race walking? And I was like, listen, I went to the protests. <laughs> uh, Let's just try standing for a while. Let's try. <laughs> I really want to figure out that goddamn thing about Stacy saying... That I'm too fat to leave for an hour or whatever. Oh, yeah, with the crane. <laughs> but that didn't, the crane thing never worked. I know, I remember, because I was like, I thought it was so funny, and then I was like, what? Nobody left? Nothing. Once I get some so crane I, money. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here, lady. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, man. There's like something about it that fucking cracks me up. And I just can't seem to figure out, like, I'm too fat to leave her. Yeah, if you lose weight, you'll leave me. That implies I'm too fat to leave her now. Because I was thinking, like, you know, when you go to the gym, they're like, what's your goal weight? I'm not going to be, like, single. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Because <laughs> uh, if I did that, they would be like, uh, dude, you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Yeah. They would not be like, you know what I mean? They wouldn't, they'd be like, oh, you should lose weight to keep her. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I need something for that angle, that, that fucking angle of that. I'm too fat to leave her. I mean, you're not, I mean, what is something that you'd be too fat to leave a couch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm too fat to, yeah, I got bad knees. I can't <laughs> walk out on you. Did you hear about Blake? He's so brave. He left his girlfriend and he was super fat. <laughs> <laughs> inspiration. Yeah. yeah. The fucking inspir I just think of like them making a movie about your story, like the man who was too fat to leave, but managed to overcome the odds. And <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah. The brave. Yeah. Oh my God, Blake's so brave. He left his girlfriend when he was this <laughs> fat. That's actually that. That might be the fucking angle, dude. That might be it. <laughs> He's so brave. He left his girlfriend when he looked like that. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Local blob Blake Hammond <laughs> leaves his <laughs> girl <laughs> in a story of triumph and. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
like, wow, he's so fat and so brave. He just can't, I can't believe he, he really, he did it. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is our problem. <laughs> it's, it's my fat. <laughs> well, see, Carrie started a relationship with me when she was at her skinniest and I was at my fattest. So, I mean, I don't know. It's. Yeah, we all just want a can of Queens thing going on. <laughs> but I mean, she lost weight and she still wanted me for some dumb reason. I don't know. Well, she put it back on. She wanted to put it back on. Yeah, I guess. That's probably what it is. That's, uh, <laughs> she's like, I need a, I need a safe bet. Yeah, I know. She's like, uh, she's not going to the gym for me because the gym's like a Petri dish. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> We all know what you've had I'm, Inya I'm not, and Anya. It's not going to be grosser than... I'm not doing this for you. <laughs> I'm not... I'm going to get fat for you, babe. <laughs> Which, yeah, if you really think about it with Stacy, I got fat for us. Yeah. <laughs> I got fat so you'd feel safe. <laughs> so you wouldn't have to worry about. So you wouldn't have to worry, baby. Like I, <laughs> I kind of like that. Like yeah. I got fat. I got fat. <laughs> to prove to my girlfriend that I was serious about this relationship. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious about us. Okay. And now I have a very serious heart condition, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm as serious as this heart attack they're I'm both, about to yeah, have. They're both, uh... <laughs> I'm as serious as this heart attack I can have at any time. Heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My heart is literally aching for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> I just wanted to show you I'm serious about us. <laughs> so is she I became, concerned about your health, though, or is she just more concerned yeah, about you? Yeah, all the time. She's really? like, you got to eat oh, vegetables. Okay. <laughs> 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 She's always fucking in my ass about, oh, you got to stop. I don't have health insurance. I just got these socks. <laughs> so you got to eat your vegetables. <laughs> yeah, she's always fucking up my fucking dick about stuff. It sucks. Oh, it's better than where my girlfriend's up on me. So that's. <laughs> what is she up? You know, the backside. The blind side? Yeah, the blind side. <laughs> I can't see back there. That's what the blind side's about. <laughs> Getting fucking pegged. Maybe that's dude. what we'll call it the blind side. She got mad because uh, well, I was like, Mark Norman mentioned uh, Alex Price and then that Trent guy on Tuesday is a story. <laughs> but then I was like, uh, we were talking about that and I was like, oh, actually, mentioned you got mentioned in fucking special that just dropped two days ago. And she was like, what? <laughs> she like freaked out. And then it was just some dumb bit where he's like, you know how many pussies I've been with that smell like boiled hot dog water? And I just. <laughs> <laughs> so she got mad at that. No, she thought it was funny when she saw it. But at first she like freaked out. She's like, did he say like a chick from Indy or something? And I was like, oh, yeah, you'll see. And then <laughs> it was just that. <laughs> Thank God she doesn't know all the freaks I fucking boned. They're yeah, all like, for real, dude. Freaks on a leash. <laughs> Not they anymore. All look like a, they look like a corn cover band, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about the bad times. Let's talk about the good times. Yeah, what about the bad times at Ridgemont High, you know? <laughs> Nobody talks about those. Well, I'm sorry that you and your lady never cheated on each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry that you guys are in a monogamous relationship where you love each other. That's terrible. We are, too. Just, 
I wouldn't say it's monogamous. Uh, yeah, it's not yet. Well, it has been <laughs> now, but what? if we live together, it'll be more monogamous, I'm sure. More? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be more monogamous than it has been. Not fully, because, you know. I'll, <laughs> well, who knows? I might really say that's a. I mean, I might get drunk, or, you know, I might. Someone might talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really bad at that. There's been so many times that women hit on me, and I don't even realize what's happening, and I just, like, ruin it for myself. So, I mean, I don't know. Well, clearly, it's not. You're not that bad at it. I'm pretty bad at it. I mean, even Carrie was hitting on me for a year, and I didn't know because I was an idiot. But yeah, we. Didn't the, care. Why do you think we made fun of you all the time? I don't know. Because she Mikey was constantly, did. She was constantly hitting on you. Well, I didn't know that. How did you not know that? I thought Alex was just being a butthead because uh, I don't know. Why I said butthead. A butthead. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought Alex was being a shit a butthead. Heel with a, no, no, a no. butthead. A butthead is what you said. <laughs> I thought he was being a real butthead. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I uh How old are you? <laughs> he cause he Cause Mikey made that fucking post and I was like, what the fuck? I barely even know this person. And then I thought he was just doing it cause he wanted to, he still wanted to like look cool to Mikey. It was always like to show Mikey and he'd be like, Oh, look Mikey. Oh, and he just like, shut up, man. Can you get your own personality and like not fucking just be like, a <laughs> yeah, be a butt. <laughs> He's just trying to jump on another bandwagon thing where he's like, oh, Mikey made fun of Jeremy <laughs> for this, so it's cool to do it now. Oh, fuck, dude, a butthead. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, do you, when's the last time you said butthead? <laughs> I don't know. Duty? Duty? I don't know where that came Bucket. from. Jesus Christ. What, do you want to fucking play dodgeball or recess today? You fucking <laughs> butthead. No, I, don't, I don't get physical activity. What are you talking about? He was being <laughs> a butthead, though, for real. Shut the fuck up.